Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Gift of Fitness series. And today what we're doing is a 20 minute dumbbell and mini band upper body. So we're going to use that combination. Now, if you only have one set, you only have mini bands or you only have dumbbells, you can just do two rounds of those activities. That will perfectly work. So we're going to do some things with a band. We're going to do the same activity with a dumbbell. So we're just going to kind of mix that up, have a lot of fun. If you have mini bands, grab them. If you don't, just grab a dumbbell for your upper body. I'm going to have my 10 and my 15 kind of a mix. We're going to do a lot of single sided activities. So kind of grab those medium dumbbells. And then grab your sweat towel, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you have a chance to grab your dumbbells and your mini bands and your great attitude. So let's get warmed up. Let's start with just opening and closing that chest. And I want you rotating those thumbs back and forth, up and down, getting that rotation in that shoulder. Woo! And giving yourself a hug that we are here today. We've got three more. Two more, last one. Let's hinge down and big swings, alternating which arm goes in front, big swings. Like you're that swimmer about ready to dive in, right? That Michael Phelps. We've got three more, two more. Last one, stay hinged there and drive those thumbs up towards the ceiling and big swings. These are just big swings. We're just getting momentum, lots of movement in that shoulder. Three more, two more. Last one, come all the way up and throw those arms behind you. Boom, like you're gonna throw a ball right behind your head. Right there, we've got three, two, last one. Let's take those hands out in front. You're gonna have those elbows straight. You're gonna push it out and in, out and in. So your elbows are straight, you're just squeezing those shoulder blades out and in, working the back of those shoulders. Woo, getting that mobility going. Three more, two more. Last one, take those arms up, press it down, then press those hands up, press them down, press them up for three, two, last one. Let's press our hands out to the side, press through the heel of that hand. You're gonna feel it in a little bit in that back of that shoulder and stretch it. And one more on each side and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go diagonal, oh yeah. Controlled. One more on each side. Oh yeah, let's do some big arm circles right here. And then let's go the other direction, big arm circles. And then we're gonna take those arms and we're gonna squeeze them down and in, then back out and up. Come down, squeeze forward, back out and up. Oh yeah, starting to work that body, feeling mighty fine. Down and over, down and up. We've got two more like this. Last one. And then we're gonna take those hands, we're gonna pull it back, and give me a nice good stretch on that wrist, and then we're gonna pull that down. We're gonna go to the other side, we're gonna pull that wrist back. Ooh, a nice good stretch. And then we're gonna pull that down. Let's do one more on each side. Pull that wrist back, we stretch those wrists out. Okay, they get real tight from all that gripping activity. And then the last one, pull that wrist back and then pull that down. Oh yes. Okay, so let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna work for 30 seconds. It's gonna be a pretty fast transition. We're gonna do four rounds. Sometimes we're gonna do um, two on each side. Sometimes we're gonna do one on each side and we're gonna take a weight and we're gonna take um, a band. So the first activity is we're gonna do a bicep curl. Okay, so you can do one side or the other. You're gonna take that weight and you're gonna come right up here and back down. Now, with the band, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a half kneel and you're gonna take that band and you're gonna pull that up and back down. Okay, so we're gonna do one on each side for the band and you can either do double or you can do a single, I don't care, but we're gonna start with a dumbbell. Okay, so you, let's be in tall kneel so we're just in that position. We're gonna have our palms facing up. We're gonna roll our shoulders back and here we go in three, two, one. So we're coming up and back down. Again, you can do just the right side or just the left side. Either way is fine. Some of these we're going to just do single side. Some of them we have some opportunities to do both. That's up to you. You've got 10 more seconds of this. 
We're gonna rest for a second. We're gonna do it again with the dumbbell and then we're gonna finish with the bands. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so either switch sides or stick with double sides. Here we go, three, two, one. Coming up and back down. Now it's kind of hard in this tall kneel position. You don't get as much momentum, which is great. You're isolating that bicep a little bit more. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that half kneel where I put that knee up and we're gonna put that band over the foot and the opposite side is gonna pull that up and do a bicep curl with the band. If you don't have a band, you're gonna do two more rounds of bicep curls. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so my hand goes over my left foot. My right arm is going up. Here we go, three, two, one. Curling it right here. Again, you can curl just with the dumbbell if you don't have a band. The band gives you resistance at different levels of where you're pulling, so it's a nice change of how we're strengthening. I like to mix it up, kind of fun to change it up. Okay, so we're gonna finish this one out and then we'll switch sides. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch the sides. And here we go, we got this side. Woo! Here we go, three, two, one. Pull that baby up and back down. Okay, so we're gonna do, after this we're gonna do some tricep extensions. We're gonna stand and put that band and kick it down. And then we're going to do overhead extension with the dumbbell. Oh yeah. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, tricep band. We're gonna take that on one hand. On the other hand, you're gonna use it and you're gonna just extend that baby down. I'm gonna actually go heavier on that one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do overhead extension. We're gonna take that weight. We're gonna go behind our head and we're gonna go right up and over. Okay, so we're gonna start with the dumbbell. Here we go in three, two, one. Down and extend. Come down and extend. Nice and controlled. Again, I'm in that tall kneel position. You can stand and do this. I like the tall kneel, sometimes it's a little more challenging. Okay, working that core still to have a nice stable position. Hiding that weight behind my head and giving me a full extension up overhead. Boom, and down. I know we have fast transitions today. Three, two, one, and rest. That's because we are just moving and shaking. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go, down and up. When we do just these 20 minutes and 15 minute ones, we kind of transition a little bit faster, get all our activities in. So after we do this, we're gonna do the tricep extension with the band. Again, if you don't have a band, you got the dumbbell again. Nice work, come on, here you go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's switch this around. We're gonna have that on the hand. I'm holding it with my left hand, extending my right in three, two, one. Push that down into extension. Oh yeah. Woo, feeling that tricep kick in. Oh yeah. Depending on the level of resistance band you have, more resistance. If you, if you don't have a real strong resistant band, you can do a few more reps sometimes and get that in. Woo, this is keeping that on fire. We're gonna finish with the left side after this. Here we go, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's finish out with this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, push that down, baby, and back. Woo! So we're gonna do some standing, and we're gonna do a chest fly. So we're gonna pull that out in front of us with the dumbbell, and then we're going to pull it out in front of us with a band. So I'm gonna use a little less resistant band, a little more mobility for that longer pull. You got 10 more seconds of this. Come on, you're doing awesome. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I'm gonna take that dumbbell. I'm gonna have my palm facing up. I'm gonna come up and over to that opposite shoulder. Then I'm gonna take that band. I'm gonna pull it up. Whoop. 
There we go. I'm going to take it from one hip and pull it up and across to the other side. So let's start with the fly, right side. Here we go. Three, two, one, up and over. Okay, so you're going to squeeze that chest and drive it all the way to the opposite shoulder. And back down. Up and across, palm facing up. My elbow is slightly bent, so I protect that joint. It's that long lever arm. Squeeze that chest as you pull that up and across. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to the other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pull that up and across. Same idea. Then we're gonna do the band. I'm gonna pull it up and across. We're gonna take it kind of from the opposite hip and pull it across to our to that side that we're working. Just a little bit different when you're working with that band. 10 more seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. I do a lot of times I, sw I twist that a little bit. I'm going to pull it from the side and back up and around from the shoulder up and over in three, two, one. Palm is still facing up, up and out. Controlling it. You notice I don't just zing it back, right? I let that control it. Oh, man. Woo. Working that baby. Like I said, you need one with a little bit more mobility with this. A little less resistance. Let's stretch that out. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we got to finish with the other side. <laughs> I'm with you. We've got three, two, one, up and over. Now, we're going to do a row next. So you can do a bent over row and do um, both sides at the same time. Or you can do a half kneel where you do um, just a row on the right side and then row on the left side. And then we're going to do the band that way. Okay, so we've got 10 more seconds. So we're going to be kind of in that half kneel position. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. So when we're down on the ground, we're gonna do a half kneel. We're gonna take that weight and we're gonna pull it straight back right here. Boom and boom. Now you can do that right here with a dumbbell or you can come and you can do both sides at the same time. That's up to you. I'm gonna go a little heavier and just do it on one side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drive that back. Squeeze that shoulder blade. You're keeping that weight close to your body and you're driving that elbow straight back and squeezing that shoulder blade. I'm going to do this side and then I'm gonna do the band on this side and then I'm gonna switch. You don't have to do it that way. If you're doing bent over row, that might make it easier. Three, two, one. Okay, so take that weight, that band on your foot. You're gonna pull it straight back in three, two, one, drive that back and squeeze. Back and squeeze. Pull it back. Ooh, squeeze that shoulder blade. Drive it. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Pull it and squeeze it. You're doing awesome. We'll switch sides after this. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one one and switch okay so i'm going back to my dumbbells i'm going to do a nice good row here we go three two one drive that shoulder blade back squeeze that shoulder blade drive the elbow back towards the ceiling keep that weight nice and close to you and drive nice work come on 15 more seconds then we'll do the band and squeeze Nice and controlled. Five, four, three, two, one. And okay, grab that dumb or grab that band. We're pulling back in three, two, one. Drive that elbow back and squeeze that shoulder blade. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna finish with our last regular activity with a shoulder press. So we'll take that band and we'll press that um, up into a shoulder press. 
And then we'll take those dumbbells and press that up. Oh yeah. Keep it going, come on, you got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so with that band, you're gonna take from, I'm gonna hold it on the left, I'm gonna pull it up onto the right, up into the shoulder press right there. Okay, and then dumbbells. We're doing a regular shoulder press right here. From here, all the way up and back down. Are you ready? Let's start this in three, two, one. Press that up and then bring that down back to that 90 degree angle and then come back up. Press it all the way up on that full extension to the top, touch those weights and then bring it back down. Okay, your core is zipped up, nice and controlled. Feeling good. We're getting closer to the end. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more set on these dumbbells. Here we go. Three, two, one. Press that on up and back down. Nice and controlled. Press it all the way to the top and back down. 15 more seconds. And then we'll do the band, one on each side. Keep that head above that shoulder. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Grab that band, I'm gonna twist it again. Left side, I'm pushing up on that right in three, two, one. Press that right on up and back down. Boom, and back. Pressing that up overhead. And we'll switch sides after this. But my shoulder is already tired. <laughs> and all we have to after that is the clincher. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, switch sides. We're gonna finish here. Here we go. Three, two, one, press that baby up and down. Now the more resistance, the harder it is, the lighter the band, gives you a little more mobility. You kind of have to play around with what works for you. Nice and controlled, up and over. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, it is the clincher. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist this down. I'm gonna put it on my wrist. I'm gonna pull it down behind me and then I'm gonna put my palms facing me and pull it down. Wrist back out, pull it behind my head. Wrist face me, pulling it down and squeezing. Then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna squeeze it out and back. I know, I'll let you. We're gonna do half and half. So let's get those right up here. Here we go in three, two, one. Pull it down behind, pull it up from behind. Okay, so you're pulling it down. Squeeze those shoulder blades behind your head. Switch those hands, pull it down behind. Oh yeah, we are getting fancy now. <laughs> nice and controlled. Squeezing those shoulder blades, pull it down behind that head and squeeze. Pull it up and front behind you. Come on. Keep it going. Oh man, I'm burning those shoulders out. You guessed it. Keep rotating it. You got 10 more seconds like this. Five, four, three, two, one. Come down, hinge down. You're gonna pull those palms up and then you're rotating them back and pull them back. So we're rotating back with our palms up, then rotating them over and then squeezing out wide. Pulling it back, squeezing out wide. We are just mixing it up to finish out strong. 30 seconds left. Way to work it today. I know it's a little bit different. Yes, squeeze that. Come on, pull it back and squeeze. Woo. We're getting those triceps and we're getting those biceps in with this. We're getting that back and that chest with all of this. Oh man, come on, 10 more seconds. Seeing that finish line and feeling great. Five, four, three, two, 
one and rest, throw that band away. Let's pull that shoulder across and oh yes, that feels so good. Woo! And then take that up and overhead, stretch that baby out. And then take that other arm, pull that shoulder across. If you need these, I'm going pretty fast on this slow down because I know we're almost done, but you can always come back and stretch these a little bit more. And then take those arms behind you and lift open that chest. Oh yeah. Now, if you don't have that mobility, that's okay. Grab your towel, hold on each side and pull that out open. And then take those hands and make a nice good C position. Push those shoulder blades out, push that low back out. Push, 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 push through those hands out in front. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift that up to the side, up top, reach on back. And then we're gonna pull to the side. And then we're gonna pull to the other side. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna give ourselves a high five for rocking that. Make sure you're grabbing your, um, drinking your water, grabbing that protein and have a great day. Hey guys, I sure hope you liked that video and I am so glad you're being a part of this journey, that gift of fitness. This series is designed to help you give yourself that gift where you get to move better, feel better, and fuel that body for whatever busy season you're in. These are designed to be quick and easy and able to fit in no matter what is going on. I wanted to make sure no matter if it's the holidays or another busy season that you can give that gift of fitness to yourself. So I am so glad you joined me and I wanna make sure you never miss the next workout. So subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss what's going on. Also, like and thumbs up the videos and give me comments. I love hearing feedback. I answer questions and I get information from you on what you want and what works for you. I love that feedback. If you wanna become friends, join me on Facebook and Instagram. All those links are below and I'm so excited you have joined me. So make sure you give yourself that gift of fitness and join me for this entire series and have a great day.